to my channel. I have gotten so many requests from you guys to do a what's in my backpack video and then also how I study. So I will be doing what's in my backpack today. And I'm also making how I study and yada yada yada. So that video will be posted soon. If you're new to my channel, what is up and welcome. All of my social media and my other veterinary vlogs are linked down below if you're interested in checking any of that out. I also wanted to mention that I think I'm going to start doing a how-to series and some of it's going to be like really in-depth procedures that if you work at a clinic it's going to help you sharpen your skills and then simple procedures like how to trim your dog's nails or how to clean your dog's ears or things like that. So I'm thinking about doing that here on my channel. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about that if you would like it. They would be really short videos so they wouldn't be as long as my vlogs but it would be skills that I know how to do that I would would love to teach others how to do. <laughs> but let's go ahead and get started. So this is my backpack. I carry my backpack with me every day to work and I take it every day home. Every day. And honestly, I didn't even look in here to see what was in here before I started filming. So <laughs> we shall explore together. So this is my backpack. It's actually by Vera Bradley. I've had this backpack for, oh my gosh, probably like five years now. And it has been through it. It gets thrown on the floor, it gets thrown in the car, and it is very durable and it looks very nice too. It doesn't look raggedy, which you would think it would by now. So I'm very impressed and I love this backpack so much. First off, it's really cute and it's practical and durable and it carries all of my crap. So I like it because it has two front pockets. It has a pocket on the inside and then over here it has a pocket and that's where I keep my laptop. So it has an entire separate area for me to keep my computer and that is one of my favorite parts about it. <sighs> I don't even know what I have in here. Okay, I think that's everything. So in here I have a hair tie and then I also have some bobby pins <laughs> and then a bunch of pins. Oh my gosh. These pins right here are my hands down favorite pin ever. It is a terrible day if I do not have my favorite pins. A pencil, my lip balm, which is from Milani, but it's my favorite. It smells like coconuts in the beach. I have more pins. Some Dramamine, some lipsticks. Oh, and some eye patches, because you never know when you need these, apparently. So that's what's in there. So for the inside of my bag, oh, apparently I have a dollar. My little planner, I got this at Walmart, I think. I cannot live without a planner, otherwise nothing ever gets done. I also have more of these markers. They're not markers, they're pens. And it goes with this book right here, and it's a really cool book, and I'm gonna show you why. Okay, so this is called a Everlast Notebook. So you write in it like a normal notebook and if you rub it, it won't smear and then you can also erase it just like you could a pencil. But the cool thing is it has an app and you can scan it and it will send it to your email, to your Dropbox so you can print it out and I think that's really cool. Then when you're done, all you do is get a wet paper towel and just wipe it all away. That's why I really like this book. I also have these pens that are just in different colors. I do use it as like my to-do list that I write down, but I mostly use it for just like a whiteboard that I can take with me that's not huge. So I really like this book a lot. It's pretty cool. I bought it off Amazon and I'll have it linked down below. What else? Oh, my stethoscope is in here. I actually don't take this back and forth home with me. I usually leave it at work. I don't actually don't know why it's in here. But I've had this stethoscope for a while. This is the 3M Litman cardiology three I love this you can hear everything and it has a side that you can listen to like adult dogs and cats and then this little baby side where you can listen to little baby animals I love this thing so much I just have my school books uh, it's my radiology book my laboratory procedure book and then I'm also taking exotic animal medicine and clinical pathology one and two so I usually carry those books in here too I just don't have them in there today and then I have this little baby book this thing is really cool. I actually got this after I made my last video on textbooks and everything. I wish this could have been in there because this thing is super awesome. I will have it linked below. I got it off Amazon. I'll just show you. The reason why I love this so much is first off, it's color coded and it's super travel friendly. If you're trying to find an answer to something really fast, it has pictures. Okay. It has pictures. It shows how to give different injections like intradermal, subcutaneous, and intramuscular, like the degree that you're supposed to give the injection. So that's really cool if you're learning. I think this is a really good book if you're a student, vet student, nursing student, tech student, whatever. It's like a quick, easy recipe 
reference that's easy to read. There's a little tab for math and pharmacology, animal care, procedures, dentistry, surgery, and anesthesia, and then also your analysis. So it's just super cool. I take this with me all the time because I really like it. Oh, I also have my Mario Badescu facial spray. I love this stuff. It's almost gone. I use this throughout the day every day to just freshen up my makeup when I'm looking rough and it just gives my skin a good pick me up. And then I also have my Way hair care. This is the Wave spray. So when I'm running around and my hair starts to look a little cray, this always calms it down. It's actually a brand new bottle. I went through an entire one of these and it smells really, really good. It's very floral, so if you don't like floral, you won't like this, but I really like it. I take it with me every day to calm my hair when we have a situation going on. Ah! I've colored everything. This is where my little sticky notes live back here and there. And then I also have a little container of lavender. This might seem really silly, but I love lavender when I'm studying because I get so worked up and I'm like, huh. <laughs> Smell my lavender and it calms me down. <laughs> I have an essential oil diffuser at my house. Sets the mood for a very calming environment so I can study, you know? I really do think it helps me focus and calm down, so. All right guys, that is it. That's all I have in my backpack. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.